Coming to the agenda of this session, we'll quickly start out by taking an introduction to Kali Linux and check out the introduction to Parrot OS. After that, we're going to dive into the comparison between Kali and Parrot OS and at the end of it, uh, we'll have a quick outlook on how Linux has been changing the world around us. On that note, uh, here's the first item on the agenda. So what is Kali Linux? Kali Linux is the number one security operating system of today's world. And this is the operating system that the world prefers to basically go on to perform penetration testing. Penetration testing is a methodology where people uh, tend to check their own systems, their own architectures to find vulnerabilities there and to uh, make sure they fix these vulnerabilities. Because if they don't, uh, they are potentially open to hackers and people with malign intent who might actually misuse all the information and then uh, leak it to the world as well. Well, that forms one of the cases because in today's world, security is such an important thing. With Kali Linux, uh, there are thousands of users and uh, pretty much it's an open source platform as well. So it means it's developed by a community, all the source codes are available and it's free to use. So working with these operating systems, uh, which have these open source community format and which has thousands and thousands of users actively uh, developing it and providing tools for the users to ensure that they can uh, uphold the security of their companies is something really nice. And it's not just one language. When you're working with Kali uh, Linux, basically you will get a multi-language support where you can uh, program in the language of your choice as well. And it's not just English uh, for communication too. And then when we have to talk about Customization, customization is an amazing thing when it comes to all the security OSS uh, that's present in today's world. We'll talk about that when we're actually into the comparison. Now let's take a quick introduction to what Parrot OS is. Well, Parrot OS is basically one of the new iterations in the world of uh, security operating systems and Parrot OS is determined to rock it here. Why do I say this? Well, because it provides ample amount of tools which were present in the previous tools as well and the provision of brand new tools as well, which ensures uh, that you can perform penetration testing into the depths and to make sure that all the cracks and crevices are actually covered. Well, uh, if you have to talk about a similarity between Parrot OS and Kali Linux, both of these adheres to the Debian standards. So what I mean by this uh, is that, that all of the code repositories that are present in Parrot OS or be it in Kali Linux, both of these adhere to the Debian development standards. Being open source, again, uh, gives the users an ample chance to help with the community build together and eventually grow alongside each other to cater to the needs of each other. It's amazingly lightweight uh, when one has to work with Parrot OS and this is what uh, gives Parrot OS its specialty. And of course, in both of the cases with Parrot Parrot OS and Kali Linux, it's secure and uh, it ensures that it adds all the privacy measures, it provides all the tools and functionality for the user to maintain anonymity. And to maintain anonymity is something which is very vital, even though you might just be testing on your own architectures or even in the entire philosophy of penetration testing itself. And on that note, this brings us to the comparison between Kali Linux and Parrot OS. So the first comparison point is the storage requirement. When you have to talk about Kali Linux, uh, you need to understand that Kali Linux needs a minimum storage space of somewhere around 20 gigabytes uh, where you'll be installing it and then later only after providing Kali Linux with 20 gigabytes of storage, you can begin working with it. And then when you have to talk about Parrot OS, Parrot OS seems like a winner here because it just requires somewhere around 15 gigabytes to install and function fully. You might be wondering that uh, you know, 20 gigabytes or 15 gigabytes might not be a lot, but then when you have to talk about legacy applications or probably running all of these on a legacy hardware, that five gigabytes of storage might be everything. And exactly on that note, the next comparison point is the operational hardware. Uh, Kali Linux is a heavyweight OS and you have to know this because it requires around one gigabytes of RAM while Parrot OS is lightweight. And as discussed, it only needs 300 megabytes of RAM. So that's over 700 to 800 megabytes of RAM, which is saved, which can be put to use for other operations in the OS itself, right? So when you have to think about Kali and Parrot, again, Parrot OS wins this round as well. 
Number three on the comparison is hardware acceleration. When we have to talk about comparing hardware acceleration, uh, Kali Linux, uh, it makes use of a wonderful variety of tools and most of these tools actually require graphical hardware acceleration. And graphical hardware acceleration is provided when one uh, makes use of the latest and the greatest graphical processing units out there. It is not a firm requirement that you will have to need a powerful graphical processing unit, but you have to understand that it requires certain hardware acceleration acceleration to perform in its foundation. Well, now coming to Parrot OS, Parrot OS does not require any sort of hardware acceleration and it can actually, uh, you know, function fully without hardware acceleration. And this again, in my opinion, makes Parrot OS the newer and the greater operating system when it comes to security purposes. So at this point of time, what do you guys think about the comparison? Head to the comment section and let me know. Coming to point number four, it's the deployment size. When you have to work with Kali Linux and to all the users who have been working with Kali Linux, uh, this is the common thing. Uh, Kali, even after installation, will be a larger deployment size and this at the end of the day will put a lot of strain. If you are working on legacy hardware, if you're working on a mobile platform or if your requirements is very small and at the end of the day, it makes it very hard to set up and scale. Parrot OS being the advantages here again, it has a comparatively smaller deployment size and at the end of the day, after installation, what you get is the advantage of ensuring that you can work really well with all the legacy hardware you have, probably mobile platforms and even ensure that you can maintain a good amount of efficiency and speed at the same time. Coming to point number five, it's variations. Well, what is the variety when it comes to Kali Linux and Parrot OS? Well, Kali Linux provides the users with Kali ARM when it comes to working with uh, IoT devices. It provides the Kali desktop, the Kali Lite, and Kali full versions, basically. And this can be decided by you based on your requirement and understanding what you need. Coming to Parrot OS, in fact, a little bit similar to Kali, Parrot OS ensures uh, that users get a lot of variety as well. Uh, the, you, you get the Parrot Security OS Studio, Parrot Security OS Air, Light, and the full version. And alongside this, in all of these varieties of Parrot OS, the biggest advantage is that you get full support to perform wireless penetration testing natively. And then when you're talking about Kali Linux, you actually cannot go on to do that. And this gives Parrot OS the edge uh, that it requires over all of the other security OSs of today. Coming to the next question, you might have uh, a question saying, which is easier to learn? Well, when you're talking about what's easier to learn, you, need, you have to understand that Kali might uh, get the advantage here because it has been the gold standard of all of the people who have been in cybersecurity, all the enthusiasts, learners, and even professionals have been using Kali Linux for a while now. So it's been called as the gold standard of all of the security OSs out there. But then in my opinion, this is changing now. Why do I say this? Well, Parrot OS, as you might know, it is taking over the majority of the user base of Kali Linux now because it's very easy to use. It provides the user with a very nice user interface. And in fact, it provides a lot of tools which are not present in Kali Linux as well. And of course, this could be one of the reasons why uh, people are preferring this now. But then when I asked a couple of friends of mine, uh, asking them why they prefer Parrot OS when there's Kali, which is the gold standard, most of them named a couple of tools uh, which weren't available in Kali and told that if they were beginner and they had to start again, uh, Parrot OS would be the one because of its easy to use interface. And at the end of the day, how it all comes together for them to fulfill the purpose of a security OS. Coming to the next point, it's the future support. With respect to Kali Linux, it has a very strong presence. It has an amazingly huge community, which basically work together to provide all the good cybersecurity tools out there for today. With Parrot OS, you need to understand that this is a new community. It is actually evolving really quick. It's actually expanding on a rapid rate. And this is ensuring that the world gets a lot of tools, a lot of new firmwares, a lot of new techniques, or whatever it is that's the requirement for all the security developers out there to ensure that their company security, their policies, their architecture is secure from any sort of a malign attack. At the end of the day, you need to understand that both Kali Linux and Parrot OS have the same goal and purpose as well. Both of the cases here are trying to achieve and strive for being the best security OS out there to ensure that they can curb uh, any sort of deficiencies and they can fix all the possible issues and errors and in fact debug all of their code. 
So at the end of the day, I think it's the opinion of should one pick Kali Linux or should one pick Parrot OS and it all comes down to either picking up the gold standard which has already been in existence or moving your shift entirely to the new thing and probably in my opinion, the new best thing out there. Coming to the next point is something preferential and it's something personal as well because it's about the look and the feel. When you're working with uh, any security OS for that matter, the one most important thing you need to understand is that these operating systems were not built to look appealing at the same time. So when you're thinking about the end goal, you're trying to achieve very good uh, penetration testing capabilities basically by getting a lot, by doing a little if you know what I mean. So none of these security OSs are meant to look really great. But then when it comes to customization, both Kali Linux and in fact even Parrot OS gives the user a good amount of features, a good amount of extensions where the user can customize the look and feel of the applications for their particular needs as well. So this point is all about your personal preference. It's like a flavor of an ice cream, right? So I might like blackcurrant, you might like strawberry and at the end of the day I can't tell you, uh, you know, that blackcurrant or strawberry is better based on that. So this is one important point that you need to understand where it forms as a difference and a contradiction to the similarity as well because of the nature of it. So coming to the complete Linux outlook of how Linux has been imbibed so well into our lives, everything from Androids, your mobiles, all the televisions around you use WebOS. WebOS is basically based on Linux. Amazon Kindle where you might be reading your ebook right now is powered by Linux as well. It's not just that, big giants such as NASA and the entirety of the Department of Defense in the United States of America completely rely on Linux operating systems. Yes, you read that right. So everything from your basic requirement of Linux, probably it might be uh, the wonderful Linux such as Ubuntu, which I would recommend everyone to start out with in case uh, if it's the first time they are working with a Linux. And of course, if you have worked on Linux before and you found your niche, uh, it has and you found your niche that it's cybersecurity and now you want to work on cybersecurity, you can go on to pick one of either uh, Kali Linux or Parrot OS in general as well. So again, to reiterate that Linux has been extremely powerful in everyone's life today. And even in the world of security operating system, it's been proving to be the leader to break through into new standards every now and then. So what do you guys think about Linux? What do you think about security OSs and Kali Linux versus Parrot OS? If you think any other point deserves a mention here, make sure to head down to the comment section and let us know. On that note, you've reached the end of the session.